Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying a Red Lobster. Um, I'm getting a catfish meal. I ordered it online already. I haven't paid for it yet, but I'm going to go in and pay for it and pick it up. I just ordered it online for a certain time and they'll have it ready for me when I go in. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll be back in just a second and tell you what I all got and how much it costs. Okay, here's the meal. Uh, here's the piece of catfish, the coleslaw, and the fries. And I got one of the biscuits out. I ordered um, the six, the half dozen of uh, these um, Cheddar Bay biscuits. And it looks really good so uh, and he said he gave me a couple extra because I had to wait a few minutes while he was doing something so uh, so he gave me I didn't actually count them but um, I'll let you know when I come back they also gave me a container of ketchup tartar sauce and a couple of uh, the butters for the biscuit so so I'm gonna um, put the camera up and I'll tell you how much everything cost all right so the uh, the catfish with the fries and the coleslaw was $8.99 um, ordered six of the Cheddar Bay um, biscuits and um, it, it was $2.49 for six of them. Um, it didn't say it came with any with the meal. That's what I went ahead and ordered. That was the smallest um, option to order. I probably could have asked for a couple of biscuits when I went in there because it actually had a check mark for a, for a, if you asked for it. So I probably could have asked for some and got a couple of them for with the meal, but I didn't know that at the time. So if I were to do it again, I would just ask for them when I went in. So my total was um, $11.48 and then 69 cents of tax. So my total I actually paid was $12.17. I didn't leave a tip because they didn't really do anything. They didn't have a server serving anything. So, you know, I don't feel obligated to tip the uh, the guy that's basically just taking the money and, and um, giving me food over the counter. So that may be bad. Maybe that's a bad opinion, but that's, that's just how I feel. So I got some uh, plastic ware, some cutlery. And it has, a, looks like a spoon, a knife, and a fork and uh, it's got one of those big soup spoons so if you get a soup um, it's got a really deep spoon let me put that up there so i want to try this coleslaw first since it's cold it doesn't look like a really wet coleslaw it looks like a pretty dry slob um, it's got some moisture in the bottom but um, i know when we make it it's it's really um has a lot of mayo and stuff in it and this doesn't look like it has a lot of that what it looks like hmm that has a really good flavor to it. It's very sweet. It's, um, they could actually add a little tartness to it and uh, or acidity to it. I like it better, but it's still pretty good. It's a good coleslaw. I don't need my fork anymore. Let me lay this up here out of the way. All right fries the fries have quite a bit of salt on them which I like mm. they're good and hot they're good and fresh um, the flavors are good but it's a typical fry you can see the size of it not quite as big as like a steak fry but still good size mm. those are actually really good fries and I want to try the tar sauce out with the fish but not right away. Oh, I counted the biscuits. I think there's seven altogether. There might have been eight, but um, there's at least seven. It's hard to count them when they're in the bag. I didn't take them all out. So, all right, pretty decent sized piece of catfish. Good and flaky. I haven't had catfish in ages. Mm, that has an excellent. Um, cornbread, I mean a cornmeal like uh, batter on it or breading, which I really like because it's good and crispy. Excellent flavor. That is, like I said, I haven't had catfish for a while, but that's some of the best catfish I've had. Truth be told. You try a little tartar sauce, though. Catfish is not something, it's a stronger fish, so you usually don't need a lot. Their tar sauce is good. It has a has a very oniony flavor. I almost wish the slaw had a little bit of this mixed into it, <laughs> because the slaw is kind of um, how on the plainer side. If you mix a little bit of that with the slaw, that would be excellent. Um, that sounds funny, but it's true. Yeah, because that has like uh, onions and um, has that a um, little bit of acidity to it, and in the um, a little bit of acid in there I like that and it's and it's uh, it would combat the sweetness of what the slaw is so anyway I might very well mix that with the slaw and eat it 
So I think this is excellent. That catfish is really, really good. Um, everything about this so far is really good. All right, one more bite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now let me try the biscuit. Are they all this thin? Yeah, they're all that thin. So they're just a thinner biscuit. Let me break it. And it does have cheese. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some cheese. Hmm, super flaky, buttery. I don't know if I get the cheese. Now, yeah. there's something in there that's different than just bread, that's for sure. Um, those are really good too. They're not quite as um, they're not quite as big and flaky and greasy feeling as like the Hardee's are, but um, but they're really they are a really good biscuit. And they're like I said, they're not as thick. You can see they're a little thinner, but um, the flavors of those are excellent. And it does leave your fingers all well, like my fingers are greasy from just the biscuit. <laughs> so um, I think this is an excellent meal. I would definitely get this again. Um, I'm gonna give this. You know, I'm gonna give it a five because I really do like it. I like the catfish, it's excellent. The fries are really good and fresh. The biscuits are really good. Um, the coleslaw, like I said, the only thing about the coleslaw is it's a little plain. It's just on the plainer side, but get a tartar sauce. I'm gonna mix the tartar sauce with the slaw. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do it right now, just to let you know if it, if it changes any for me. Doing it live, people, doing it live. A little spoonful of tartar sauce. Oh yeah, that's what they need to do. Take your tartar sauce, mix it with your slaw, and it's perfect. So I like that a lot. So I'm gonna give it a five. I would get this any day of the week. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.